Hey there, my meaty friends. This is Reed, aka Carnivore Chef. Have you ever been to Longhorn Steakhouse and had this? This is their Parmesan crusted chicken, and it's one of my favorite items there. However, looking up a copycat recipe for the dish, it turns out it's just ranch and cheese on top of marinated chicken. Now, I cannot confirm nor deny that this is how it's actually made, but the internet seems pretty adamant about that. Instead of just topping our meat with ranch and cheese, let's make an easy ranch cream sauce. I mostly wanted to focus this video on the Parmesan crust, so it'll be a top salmon today. For this recipe, you'll need the following. Salmon, heavy cream, sour cream, shredded provolone, shredded Parmesan, granulated onion, granulated garlic, dried dill weed, dried chives, and some salt and pepper. This first part is inconsequential and is an optional step to this recipe. I just wanted to have a side of bacon with the dish as well as cook my fish in the bacon grease. So if you want to do the same, bake up some bacon and reserve the fat. Next up, let's make this ranch sauce. Add in a half cup of heavy cream and a half cup of sour cream into a pan that's set over medium high heat. Let this simmer and reduce until it's well thickened. This only took me about three minutes or so from when it started boiling. Now let's season up this ranch cream sauce with three quarter teaspoon dill weed, a half teaspoon of dried chives, a quarter teaspoon of granulated onion, a half teaspoon of granulated garlic, three quarters of a teaspoon of salt, and an eighth teaspoon of black pepper. Give this a hot whisking and taste this mighty creation. It's ranch cream sauce, yes. Let's grab a pan and place it over medium high heat. Pour in your bacon grease and just for fun, throw in a couple tablespoons of butter as well. Once melted, place down a slab of your salmon skin side down and season it up with salt and pepper. Let this sear for about three minutes or until the fish is cooked about halfway up the side. Once there, flip it and turn the heat off. This will let the fish finish without overcooking it. I let mine sit for about one minute before transferring to my serving plate. Feel free to do this on a baking sheet. Spoon over a good bit of your ranch cream sauce, then pile on your two cheese blend that didn't record for some reason. Place this into an oven on the broiler setting for about three to five minutes or until the cheese is nicely browned. It's beautiful. I served mine with a nice side of bacon and I think you should too. Let's go ahead and take this first bite. It's for my Patreon community, you know, the usual. If you'd like to join the community, there's a link below. I just started a Discord server and really would like to chat with more of y'all. You know what? I nailed this one. Please make this. It's delicious. Like and subscribe if you're going to make this.